Oh, so these are the two apps. Um, the one with the little shake icon on it, that's for the customers. And the one with the people on them, the mannequins, <laughs> um, that's for the members app. So that's going to help you manage those customers. So you should have both of those apps on your phone. This app is designed as a customer's app. Okay, It's not an app. I already had this request from some of the guys in the UK who, who started playing with the members app. They're like, I want to load my whole phone book in it. And it's not for this. Okay, So when you put a, a prospect in, it allows you to add a prospect. This is somebody you're working with. Maybe they're on a trial program. Okay. When somebody's on a trial program, it's not a customer yet. It's a trial person. Okay, so they fall, in, fall into the prospect category. It's only going to be, that record will only be in your database for 30 days, and then it's going to expire. Okay, so there's no point in loading every person you ever met in your life into your prospect folder, because they're going to disappear within 30 days. Just, it's designed to load the people you're currently working with. So if you meet somebody, uh, as I did the other day with a taxi driver, and he wanted a trial pack, I would have added him as a prospect immediately because I'm going to ship him the trial pack. And you'll see why in a minute. Now, a prospect can exist in more than one member's app in the same moment. A customer, on the other hand, is somebody who's placed at least one order of regular products. Okay, so a healthy breakfast or whatever it is you're selling and can only exist in one member's database at a time. Okay, so once you have somebody converted to a customer, they can only be in your database. Okay, now, we're going to allow that customers can transfer from one member to another if they want to change their coach. Okay, but it will not be like a two-click process. They're going to have to fill out why they want to transfer, so we will get some information back. And they will have to confirm ultimately, are you sure you want to move from Martin Ernst to Bart Kralenbergs? You will never deal with Martin again. Yeah. Bart is going to have all your data. Okay? Please confirm you understand this. You know, so, so the customer can't say, well, I thought I could come to your fit camp and buy products from somebody else. And, you know, it should be very clear to them they are actually moving. If they really want to move, they can fill out the data, they can make the request. It's not our, our, our responsibility. And that sponsor, whoever their previous uh, member was, is going to have to, will get that feedback, but accept that that is the person's wishes. It's not about you or I. So I think one of the, the real upsides of, of this app is going to be the way that it helps us manage our customer relationships and the flexibility of those without uh, running into problems. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a simulation for you. Hopefully, um, this will work for most of you in the room. Um, what I want you to do is open the customer app on your phone. So pull out your phones. Let's open the customer app. And um, uh, I want you just to go and try to log in now as an existing customer. So log in with a number and everything that hopefully you haven't put a lot of data in there. So this would be if somebody who's not a customer tries to log in, they have to supply their name and their phone number. And based on that data, the app will allow them in or not. If this person is not in your database, in your member's database, registered as a customer with that same name and phone number, they won't be able to log in. So they're going to get a, an error message. Sorry, you're not a registered customer. Please talk to the person who introduced you to Herbalife. And, and it's, it's, it's purposely done like this, that we want to create a reason for people who are on a trial pack to want to upgrade so they can get the features of the app. So you can try that now on your, on your customer app, and you should see that you're unable to, to log in. So let's go now to your members app. And let's log in using your regular um, ID number and PIN code that you use on My Herbalife. And you should be able to get to the home screen, which looks like this. And this is going to have a look and feel changed.
um, in the next couple of weeks quite a bit. But for now, it looks like this. And let's go now and add a prospect. So go to prospects. And you see the plus sign, top right-hand corner, we're going to go and add a new prospect. When you try that, you're going to get a privacy, uh, legal privacy warning. You have to scroll down, agree to it. And then you get to enter the prospects this way. Now, we're going to enter the phone number. You pick the country for the country code, and then you just enter the phone number as you normally would. You can leave the zero off, you can keep the zero, it doesn't matter, we, we, we take it whatever format you, you, you want to put it in. Okay? So, so we're here entering uh, Mickey Shake as a new, a new customer. And here you can see Mickey Shake is now entered, so you should have saved yourself with your own phone number in the members app. In, into that uh, database now. So you are actually your own customer. That's basically what we're doing here. Because now we're going to go to the customers app. You're going to log in as a customer and we're going to do some, some things to illustrate to you how to do that. But before you can log in as a customer, we need to upgrade you from a prospect to a customer. Okay? So we're going to upgrade you from a prospect to a customer by clicking that little square thing with arrows. And you should get a screen like this. Okay, so we're going to upgrade you. And from there, you actually need to record the last order that this customer made. So some of you might have customers who have been with you for six months or more. Just the last order that this customer made. Okay? And it's quite easy to do. You can pick it from the product catalog. And you're going to add a Formula One to this. And now you've got to add a shipping address. So you're going through the wizard. An invoice option. And you should, once you've successfully added the customer, get a confirmation message like that. Once you get, once you've successfully added the customer, upgraded the prospect to a customer, you're going to get this, this message which is to invite your customer now to download the app. So it's an SMS message. It's going to come from our system directly to that customer, confirming that, hey, Martin Ernst says you are his customer. And once you send that message, so it's got a nice link to, to, say, to invite uh, you to become your own customer. Now let's try and log in. Let's go and open the customer app and let's log in as that new customer that you just added. So you're going to go in with a name and phone number and then you will get to this point where you actually need to generate a code. Okay, this is like a verification that this is really that phone number. You know how when you, when you install WhatsApp or any of those other uh, type communication applications, they do the same process. You need an SMS code that you're going to have to input to confirm, hey, you really are the customer. So, so it's designed this way so that somebody can't add like 50 people they know and pretend they are th that they're customers because they would have to confirm they're going to get an SMS and they've got to confirm that they really are your customer. And so you can see here the SMS code now going to your customer. So we call this process the digital handshake. Okay, so uh, now you're going to enter that SMS code and now it allows you to set up your own password to log in as a customer. You have to confirm some terms and conditions. And then you get the opportunity to go through a little tour of the app. You can skip it if you want. And it's just a little explanation of what the app can do to, to help you as a customer. And then you have to confirm some things about your own profile as a customer. You know, your sex. And um, on the next uh, screen, your height, your weight. 
and then you just confirm your objective healthy lifestyle healthy uh, healthy weight this is going to be updated healthy weight will have two categories to gain muscle or to lose to lose fat or increase sports performance okay so you would just confirm your uh, your objective and you confirm how active you are as well how much uh, how many times a week you're exercising your activity level and then based on that you're going to get a slider okay which you can set a goal as a as a customer now so it's it's walking a customer through the process of finding out do they want to lose weight do they want to gain muscle do they want more sports performance whatever and what do they want to do with their body shape and if you drag this little thing along the bottom it will actually change to to represent how you might look in the future and it's going to it's it's really cool and it's going to help you to set some objectives but also look importantly at the timelines it tries to make a realistic assessment of how long it's going to take you so they don't think they can have like a six pack and everything in five minutes um, they know it's going to take some months so it's setting them up for the mindset of a long-term customer right from there once you've done that you now have access to the main menu as a customer so this is what the main menu looks like and we've tried to keep it really really simple so now you will see in your members app the person is now upgraded as a customer so so remember this if someone was a prospect and you tried to upgrade them to a customer and they got the SMS and they don't do anything they're gonna stay as a prospect okay it's a two-way confirmation process so if they stay as a prospect after 30 days they're gonna disappear from your database just remember that so when you guys suddenly have people going out from your database don't call the company in a panic so what happened to my guy he's expired he's not you know he's not an active prospect anymore so it's just for active prospects so you will see only once the digital handshake has been taken place is this person a confirmed customer of yours you can now go in and see an overview of this customer and their profile inside the members app okay so that's that's where you are now and um, this is just a few screenshots of the of the profile that we just added